I would encourage you. There's a lot of people out there that you guys have been around the city your entire life. I would encourage you if definitely if you feel like you live in a shithole and you got the means to be able to like do something else. I would encourage you to uh, go somewhere else and like small town. I can almost guarantee you it'll be a, it'll be as culture because people forget how big America is. It'll be a culture shock unlike no other. There are people that have been in these like massive cities their entire life. Worse, especially people in L.A. I've, I've, I've noticed this. They actually believe that there, there are people in California that believe. Right. And I don't know if it's the propaganda or what, that they live in the best place that exists. And I'm like, you live in a f- literal shithole, bro. Like the place you live fucking sucks. I get it. They might have told you you were in the best place ever. Like all that America has to offer is is where you live. But that is not true. You live in a shithole. But on a serious note, like if you for those of us that have lived in, you know, small towns, lived in the country, as as they would call it. You live in a different fucking dimension. And it is. Now, granted, it's a lifestyle thing. Me, I prefer the shit. Right. Especially in this digital age where, you know, I can connect with my audience like this. Right. What the fuck I need to be in the city for? I don't got no business being there. Right. Like, but no, seriously, the culture is different. Right. It's better. Like, and by different, I'm meaning better. The, the, the culture is different. The, um, just the, the overall, like how people approach life is funny. People are talking about like, man, we used to be able to, 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 you know, live and you could have your doors unlocked that night and it wasn't nobody going to do shit. Believe it or not, there are places where that's still kind of the setup. It's just not in these shithole cities where your neighbors are like respectable, right? It's just not in a city that has million some people. That's just not what it is. It is a different dimension. And especially if you are one of those that either have, you're married, you got a family, uh, or, or you, uh, you, you're either working towards a family, or you got a family, on a serious note, you might want to consider living like out in the middle of fucking nowhere. And I'm not saying that on some apocalyptic shit, though. Yeah, there's a bunch of zombies walking around this motherfucker. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like that sh- you'll be in a much better spot. You'll be in a much better spot mentally. You'll be in a much safer spot. You feel good. You It's a different world. It, and it, it will be a culture shock. But you're in a different fucking world, man. Uh, it, for those of you that have never experienced that, you're in a different dimension. It's like living in two different fucking complete different planets. When you talk about city, Definitely one of those coastal junts versus like a rural area or just a small town or something like it's a different fucking thing, bro. Better living too. It's just better living. More quality living. But no, nah, there there's a there's a uh I don't know, it's a cultural thing, right? You got a lot of people that feel like that's what all life is why they flock to it. I had it's funny, we're talking about race. Let's talk about it. if y'all really want to go down that route. I had some on my mind. I actually was talking about my wife, talking to my wife about this. You know, one thing that really did a lot of people in, especially black folks in the South, you know, uh, going into outside of like welfare statism. Many of y'all's like I'm saying is speaking about other black people. Many of y'all's grandparents and great grandparents were landowners. And you were sold a dream that there was better living, obviously there's more opportunity if you flock to like the nearest big city to where you were at. And some of y'all started to to gravitate towards towards that. And it's gone downhill, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Welfare statism had a lot to do with that, right? I, I will be the first to say that, right? Welfare statism had a lot to do with that. But a lot like this, this whole city, like it's funny. We use the term urban, right? And it's often, it might as well be black in some cases, the way that people use it. Like they use that urban community thing and they, they just think immediately black. And I'm like, in terms of black folk in this country, right? That is a relatively new phenomenon that, that used to not be a, um, synonymous thing. 
like your if you're like my age, right? Where your grandmother's age and your uh, it's just that that was the, that was a dream that a lot of people were sold to flock through. Yeah, you got projects and all that shit that were built in these areas, but like a lot of folks were flying. They would take they were they were running away from the life that was a better situation, ironically, to flock towards a city where they own shit. Which is why a lot of cases y'all worse off. You might think oh, I'm financially better, right? Because I got these, I got you know certain amenities and shit. But were you? Because your grandmother was a was a landowner. Your great grandfather was a landowner, and they had acres of the shit. And now you might live in a city and you don't own a motherfucking thing. One thing I was on my mind, I was talking to my wife about that. It's like, man, these motherfuckers ain't no land. Like I even look at my own family. Because my grandmother was a landowner, rest in peace. She died, was uh, been eight years, right? Uh, acres of land, right? And for the most part, a lot of the grandchildren flocked to the city because they were going to college and all that shit. They flocked towards the city, including my mom's. My mom's is a country girl that lived in the city, right? And then I lived in the country, right? I was I was a guy that was raised in the city. Right. But I lived in the country. Right. Uh, you know, I was living in Arkansas for a little bit um, and stuff. So I was, you know, growing up, I had both. I, I at least had that. I knew that it wasn't ever a culture shock for me because I lived and experienced both. Both of those like living in the literal like country. Right. Whereas, you know, ain't no, the, the road don't have a name. It's fucking county road like that type of shit. You know, that's. Um, you know, I live that. I, I live that. And it's a completely different animal. But, yeah, a lot of y'all's moms and shit started flocking towards these fucking cities. And they wanted their little college education and all that shit. And they they lied to them, right? Told you, hey, this is the way that you were going to be great and do all these other things. And y'all don't own a motherfucking thing. Your, 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 a lot of y'all's grandparents and grand, great-grandparents own fucking land, bro. Something to put into perspective, I'm just saying. And I get it. It is a, like, uh... It's a culture thing, I guess, because then if you were around it, that's all that you know. But like, definitely with me, I was I was around both. So, I mean, city ain't got nothing for me, and I'm from Oak Cliff, fucking Texas. That, that it, it don't got nothing. It don't got nothing for me, for me. Being completely honest, city ain't got nothing for me. To where I like need to be anchored down to the motherfucker, because I don't kick it like that. You know, I ain't fucking. Oh well, I need to have places to go, and I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. The way I see it, man, my house is supposed to be my fucking sanctuary. It's supposed to be a place where I'm able to, like, I I, I I want to be there. Not like I need to be somewhere else. I feel like those types of people are always running away from some shit. They feel like I got to be near this so I can go do all the fun things. And I feel like, you know, maybe not with everybody, but I feel like with some cats, man, y'all trying to run away from some shit. You know what I mean? If you If you don't feel comfortable in your own fucking crib man what you what the fuck you running away from that's all i'm saying but yeah man um that's something i was thinking about i'm like man bro it's like a general it all it took one generation and yeah welfare state has had a lot to do with it but it took one generation of people especially black folks in the south and one generation went from fucking a lot again a lot of y'all especially if in the south a lot of like black like you want to talk about going from basically the the I mean you can go late latter half of the 1800s, but especially you know through the early 1900s into about maybe 1960, right? That er that era, and obviously it went in further if they if they were passing that shit down. But a lot of black folks were were landowners, and that next gen that generation after that did the fucking opposite. They don't own nothing. They might be near the city. They might think they're living better. They don't own. They don't own nothing. <clears throat> nothing. Alpha Core Number One's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy. <laughs>